Tonight we discuss as human rights lawyer Femi Falano backs calls for televising of the presidential election tribunal proceedings. And the United States Embassy and the European Union Election Observation Mission in Nigeria condemns its in, in its entirety the spate of violence, voter intimidation and suppression that marred the March 18 governorship and State House of Assembly elections. This is Plus Politics. My name is Nyamgul Agaji. Welcome back. It's still Plus Politics, and my name is Nyamgul Agaji. Uh, Femi Falano, a human rights lawyer, has said Nigerian courts are capable of delivering justice in election-related matters. Recently, some politicians and legal practitioners have raised doubts about the integrity of the Nigerian judicial system to dispense justice in the presidential election petition filed by the Labour Party LP and the People's Democratic Party PDP against the victory of Bola Tinubu, the president-elect. There have also been calls for the proceedings of the tribunal to be televised. Falano expressed his support for the calls to televise the tribunal proceedings, adding that it will enhance the credibility of the judiciary. Well, joining us live to discuss this is Ayo Ademiluyi, a legal practitioner, and also Tunji Abdul Hamid, a legal practitioner and member of the PDP. Thank you for joining us, first of all, Ayo. It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah. I also with my brother, Mr. Tunji Abdulmaid. <laughs> <laughs> Tunji, it's good to have you on the show. Hello, Tunji, good evening. Good evening. Yeah. I'm pleased to see you. Okay. Ayo, I did. Well, thank you so much. Nice to see you again, sir. Tonight, I have, I have learned gentlemen. I wonder what I will be in, <laughs> in the Mr. <laughs> Mr. Mr. <laughs> Okay, well, we're discussing uh, the judiciary and uh, the fact that people are calling for um, the proceedings to be televised uh, so that, like Falano said, it will give credibility to the proceedings. First of all, how did we get here that in cases where we feel they are sensitive, we need to be at the courts before we can trust that the courts will do what they need to do. I'd like to take your comments, uh, gentlemen, beginning from you, uh, Tunji. Yeah, I, I think uh, it's not about uh, being open before we can trust the court. It's about uh, trying to move ahead and move forward. You know, this is not, a, this is not new in the world. All, all over the world, there are uh, proceedings that televise the uh, Publicly, and uh, there is nothing in our law which says that a uh, court proceeding should not be should not be public or should not be televised. So I, I don't see anything bad in it. But you see, where well, if you want to do things and want people to believe more in, in the system, allow people to see it more and make it more transparent, so that people who, who see the credibility in it. But unfortunately, when we get there, I will, I will address that. I don't uh, as I have my reservation regarding the publicity of that or televising tele 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 the. Whether that advising the what's it called the proceeding will change much in terms of uh, what is on ground. Okay, what is your comments? Uh, thank you so much. Um, first of all, uh, I think your question is that uh, why did we get to this point yeah. that we have to approach the courts uh, to obtain justice in electoral matters? Uh, for me, I think the, the courts are meant to respond. No, no, no. The, the question was, uh, where, why did we get to the point where we cannot trust the courts enough okay. to do their job okay. and then just tell us what it is? Because now, everybody is now saying that we need to see what is happening so that we can thank believe so, them more. Uh, thank you so much. I think that's exactly the, the direction of your question. Okay. Now, <clears throat> naturally, the, the courts are meant to uh, arbitrate, I mean, in disputes between parties and then uh, you know resolve those disputes in every way now be that as it may the confidence of litigants in the courts is also very very important uh, over the years possibly through a whole lot of uh, challenges uh, the confidence of the nigerian litigating public has been eroded 
in our courts. And that's just the truth if we want to face it. And that's why you have made that, um, that, that kind of uh, assertion. Be that as it may, as it is now, the, the fact that people are eager to know the proceedings of uh, the presidential election uh, uh, tribunal is even a record development. Because for me, the interest of the public in that, kind, in, in that proceedings is even a push for the, for the, for the bench to, to also be transparent, to also be a fair in every uh, way. Uh, in determining the, the uh, election petition in the coming period. Okay. Mm. Uh, Tunji, do you think the reason it has not been done in Nigeria, because we can see in other countries, maybe even neighboring Ghana and so many other countries that are not uh, calling themselves the giant of Africa, they're doing this, they're televising uh, some of their proceedings, court proceedings, but it's not done in Nigeria. What do you think might have been the challenges that made us not to be televising until this time that we are trying to call for the television of uh, these proceedings? I, I think it's not, it's not the first time in Nigeria. It may, the proceeding it may not be the entire proceeding. But I remember the presidential tribunal or Supreme Court judgment regarding the, I, I think, uh, the current president and the I see Elijah Tiku Abubakar, so I can't remember. It was transmitted a life. We watched it on TV. It was there. So I, I think it's not, it's not new. Uh, maybe probably they want us to continue in that, in that line and move forward and do more about, about, of it. it. It's not new. But I, it, 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 it's a place we need to move to. We need to grow beyond where we are and we need to see it. I don't know the. I, like I said earlier on, I am not aware of any law which prevents the, the, the court proceeding from being uh, transmitted to, to the public or from being transmitted live. But I, it, as a practice, as a lawyer, of over 20 years at the bar, I, I, have not, I, I know most times they don't allow media to cover a uh, court proceeding. They, they, are that, they, they can only cover it before the court starts sitting. Yeah. They want the court starts sitting, they will say they should stop recording. I don't know the rationale behind it, because I'm not aware of any law. We say that cannot happen. So if you are not going through that road, that, that, look, let's transmit this, uh, this uh, proceeding for people to, to, to see it and then the believe in it. I don't believe, I know that, I have, I have the reason. I am aware that, look, there, there is this principle that says uh, uh, sin is believing. Uh, uh, Justice just, just, just not only to be done, there must also be seen to have been done. There are doubt whether, even when, when it's done publicly, whether the layman who are not lawyers, who are in court, who are watching it, we even understand the proceeding. Most of us are all, that we change the, 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 the mentality of, of people who are who are not going to do the right thing. I, I don't believe so because the judgment will not be written in, inside the court. The judgment will not be written uh, 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 within the uh, in the midst of the, of the of the public. They will still go inside and write the judgment. So they can they can do whatever they want to do inside the, if they want, if they are not if they, are, if they don't want to do the right. So it's about well, I think uh, the transparency or uh, transparency the, the 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 proceeding is as far from concerned. So I'm not saying it's not good. I'm not saying it's not good. I'm not saying it's bad. That it may, as far as I'm concerned, may not change anything differently. If the attitude of those who are uh, the, the, the lawyers, the judges, or whatever, they are, are not interested in doing the, the right thing, it won't change. Do you also have reservations? Uh, uh, thank you. Mm. Uh, in my, my response is that um, the, the nature of the presidential election uh, tribunal is different from the regular courts. How? Uh, is that, thank you for that. Now, the, the tribunal is specifically set up to determine presidential election petitions. The regular courts, as we are aware, uh, they have varying degrees of uh, jurisdiction, as well as we say that is, for instance, the magistrate court can determine a specific level of uh, cases. The high court can determine those cases. So they are different from the regular, from the regular courts, and that's why they even label them as, as a tribunal. For me, I welcome the fact that this, the proceedings should be televised. Because the nature of the tribunal itself has even made it very, uh, there's no, as my learned friend has said, there's no bar that stops the televising of those uh, proceedings. And the fact that, of course, the layman may not be able to understand um, the language of the, of, the, of the court, but the fact is that people will see for themselves what is taking place right there and there at the tribunal. I'll give you a very good example. I was uh, co counsel to the NSAS protesters at the tribunal on uh, 
uh, we'll call it Lagos, they call it the Lagos State Judicial Panel on restitution for victims of SARS related uh, abuses. Then that tribunal was also giving a second assignment of investigating the Lekki uh, massacre. Right? That tribunal's proceedings was televised because then the, the fact was it was so glaring that people wanted to know the truth about what happened at Lekki to Gate on the 28th of October. It was a it, it was a it was a proceeding of international interest and dimension. The same thing applies to this presidential election petition tribunal. It's a tribunal. It is uh, we like to call it sui generis proceedings. That is, you know, they originate by itself. The court itself can say, I open my own doors, my doors. The tribunal can open its doors to the media. And it's even important now, given the weight of the emotional forces behind this presidential election petition. It's not just uh, uh, people angling for power, so to speak. In fact, the unity or otherwise of the country is hanging on this, uh, on this uh, election petition as, as it were. Okay. Uh, but uh, let me just take you back to the NSAS thing that you just, right. just mentioned. Do you think uh, opening these proceedings to the public, as it was done in that instance, helped in whatever was done, in the success or otherwise of the Thank you so terminal. much for that, um, for that question. It did. It did. And I will, give you a, a, I will give you one reason why it did. People were closely following the proceedings from day to day. So by the time we, we, I mean, witnesses were being called and people were seeing real victims, people who were really shot, at the at the Lake Kito Gate on that night, at that night, all the lies and falsehood about nobody died and everything were were, were erased. Now everybody knows that really there was there was there was there was a shooting at that, at that night. Now I like to that was that the tribunal itself was now under immense public prayer to speak the truth, and it did. The tribunal delivered the reports where it appropriately called what happened that night. A massacre. Of course, government came out with the white paper. That's another story entirely. But the uh, publicity of the proceedings brought the weight of public prayer to bear. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, for that tribunal to determine uh, justice accordingly. And it did. Okay, Tunji, the, the, the bone of contention here, let me not call it bone of contention. The issue here is that People are interested, and whether, whether you say the outcome will be influenced or not, but people are interested. If you say it may not influence the outcome of whatever is going to happen at the tribunals, what do you think, or how do you think the people can follow so that their emotional attachment to that thing, or that case, or those cases as the case may be, could be quenched? Emotional attachment could be satisfied as it is. What do you suggest that can be done? Agadi, let me make myself clear. I am not opposed to public... I, uh, I know that. Uh, I know that. You said so. Uh, let me also state clearly here that there's a difference between that NSAT tribunal and this particular tribunal that we're talking about. That NSAT tribunal is not made of lawyers. The, the, those, who, those, the panels are not even judges. Most majority of them. The, 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 the chairman of the tribunal is a retired judge. Others are not judges. They are just they, some, some are not even lawyer. So it, it, and, and, and at that uh, NSAT tribunal, what is being done there is fact finding. So people can relate and they can follow, and they can and, and people let people agree that that publicity of that uh, uh, NSAT tribunal uh, made a lot of difference. Or well, did it, did it, did, it, did, it, did it reflect in the outcome? No. After the after the after the, the display of the uh, uh, evidence or whatever before the court. We were, we were there were different uh, reports that were that were that were, that were being told that that is not all happened. This what that happened. So what my point is that I am I am I am not against uh, televising the presidential evaluation tribunal proceedings. Mm -hmm. If you are going to televise, are we are we asking that it should be televised for televising sake for people to just watch and see, just like we are watching African Magic? Is it for us to understand the proceeding? I I, I bet you only a few people understand the proceeding because this is this is a business for lawyers. There are, there, are, there are languages that, 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 that are things that will be done in that, in that, in that uh, tribunal 
There are some laymen, even in Tapis, differently. They will negatively. They won't understand it, and they will, they will start bringing out uh, different uh, stories uh, that not even uh, relate to the to, to the case itself. Thereby putting the, the judges under pressure as to, uh, in other words, media media, they, you know, they are, something that happened in court will be will be driven what what will be reported outside, or will be different for what people will be arguing outside. Meanwhile, when the court now comes back and, and gives a judgment, they will say they they they've taken money or they, they are partial or this and that. So what I'm trying to say in that day is that look, the transparency of that. Uh, sorry. Making it a uh, uh, televising it may even make it a uh, more complex in a way because it may even make it may even create more 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 difficulty for the judges to be able to make a, a informed uh, decision because there will be a lot of uh, interpretation as, as to what happened in court and uh, it, it, negative interpretation because uh, in these days when you argue issue that has, has nothing to do with law most on Facebook social media you see people who are not lawyer argue with you as a lawyer telling using common sense to, to so and law is not about common sense. People will watch that proceeding and they will be using common sense to watch it. And they will think thinking law is about common sense. Law is not common sense. Law is law. There are things that look uh, absurd. They're in law. That's that is that the way it is. So they will not understand what is what is what is going on. So so if you want to mislead the public, they, some people can simply bring out a skit and they all those uh, uh, what do they normally do? Uh, so subscribe, subscribe. Those uh, I don't I can't I don't I can't remember the whatever now. Start trying to interpret uh, what happened in court. And thereby misleading the public and giving us giving us wrong uh, 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 interpretation and impression of what happened in court. So I am saying I am saying for, for, for looking at it sake that whether it will change the outcome of the of of, 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 of it or it will change from what we are we are seeing today, I doubt if it will change anything. It is still the, the, the judgment will still be written inside, not in the public, not among the public, not within the public. They will, when they are writing that judgment, the public will not be there. So they can write whatever they want, they want to write. And if it's at the court of appeal, they can say go to the Supreme Court. If it's at the Supreme Court, they will say go to Baba God. So and I that, that, that scares me as an individual, knowing that no matter how much I look, no matter how hard I look, uh, the judges or the learned gentlemen can just still do whatever. It, it doesn't matter what I feel. Because if you say uh, it is useless, as it were, uh, to no, the judges. Well, I didn't no, say no, so. No, no. I didn't say so. Let, let me. No, no. no. If, if you say you that, that they are attending the, the, the proceedings. What you feel is not the issue. What you feel, you may not, you may not understand the proceedings. I've been feeling something else. That, um, given no. what is happening in the courts, thinking you are right. But, but you, you know, right. you know, you know, Chunji, among the people that will be watching will be also judges that are not on that panel will be lawyers that are not on that panel, will be the international community that is not on that panel. Don't you think it will have something to do with the outcome of this? Because some, okay, let's take for instance, Nigerians do not understand how, for instance, the Senate president went back to the Senate and was voted. How did that interpretation, how was it given? We didn't know because we were not in the courts. We don't know how it you was not interpreted. Get, you will not get the answer by watching the proceedings. Yeah, you will not get it. We don't. No, well, I'm trying to. I'm trying to try. talk about it. education. It's not let me, the will give the answer. Let me so yeah. where do we start from to begin to understand the workings of the judiciary? So we should you just leave them. Uh, uh, Mr. Uh, with respect to my okay. learned uh, friend, right. okay. I think um, what would what we need to this balance we need to strike is the fact that while we are all on the same page about televising the proceedings, what he is trying to explain, uh, maybe it's because he didn't get it, and I want to break it down so that he's, uh, you know, he's speaking in that high legal terms, <laughs> is that naturally the language of the courts yeah. is not the normal language we use in daily conversations and um, exchange. So, of course, the language of the courts is by the fact that it is different and it's totally unique in itself will be a communication barrier for the audience to understand. But that does not, at the same time, does not mean that we should deprive the, uh, the public, the general public, of the opportunity of even uh, uh, seeing for themselves, hearing for themselves what is happening. Of course, they cannot consult lawyers close to them. Uh, Mr. Hey, uh, Esquire, I watched the proceedings of uh, today. I was hearing uh, originating critical expert. See something, something, something on notice. What is the meaning of that? Of course, 
as you have said, it's also not only non lawyers that will be in the audience. Mm. There will be lawyers too. Yeah. There will be retired judges. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a platform for education. There are people who want to aspire to become lawyers. Mm -hmm. for, for instance, the Oputa panel was one of the major, um, was also a televised proceedings. Yeah. Of course, as my other uh, friend has said, it was the most of the, like the, the Oputa panel and the SRS panel were not uh, in total judicial courts in themselves, as if they are not made up of judges appointed by the National Judicial Council or judicial officers. You had, it's more like a jury, so to speak. But at the same time, the televising of those proceedings sparked interest of a lot of young people in reading law, including myself. Mm. You, could, you, could, you could see the adumbration of uh, senior advocates, people like Ganifa and me, we got their blessed soul. This, they are their adumbration, their submission in court, their advocacy, those kind of uh, erudition will inspire a lot of, of people. So it's like a learning feed for all of us. The televisor of the proceeding will turn the, the, the tribunal, the floor of that tribunal, to a big classroom. For the entire country. <laughs> Ayo, why, why I agree with you? Ayo, we need to understand the purpose why they are calling for televising the, the, the presidential tribunal uh, uh, whatever proceedings. The reason for me is to ensure that, look, people, so that people will have confidence in the, uh, in the outcome of that, uh, of that uh, uh, proceeding. Mm. So that, 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 that to me is the reason why they are calling for that. So that people will, that there will be enough transparency. People will see what's been done, and they will say, "Okay, from what we have seen in this court, things are done the way it should be done, and therefore we are." The only thing we will see when you are in court is to see how people are being asked questions, mm. how answers are being given, not how judgment will be written, not Mr. how. You see, that's not an issue. That's Mr. Not Mr. Abdul Mr. Abdul Mr. Abdul you see, the issue of whether people are satisfied or not is an emotional thing. People will always, in fact, that's why we are human beings. People cannot be satisfied. Like, if you are satisfied, I will not be satisfied. If I'm satisfied, you will not be satisfied. But the forum must be set up in which we're able to now see that if I to create a national a, a basis for national discourse. Because the same way we watch football, if football is also secretly played, nobody will know. Yes, uh, Nigeria was beaten 1 0. Whether Nigeria even beat the, those people in possession, you don't know. It may be a simple and narrow mistake, you cannot say. But if you saw the old game, and you saw that ah, it was just a mistake of one defender that cost Nigeria a low goal at the end of 19 and, and minutes. And your, you know, you know that. that uh, at federal high court to, for pre election matter. We are together in court. You yes. know that. Uh, very well. You see our time asking us questions. We are together in the court. Outside the court, they will see the answer. I don't understand what the, what the court said. What, what, what happened in that case? It's so that's interesting. Is and so then, my worry, my worry, my worry yeah. is that it will give a, a wrong, uh, it may create more pressure on judges. And people that will carry wrong uh, news will create bad uh, impression of the outcome of the, of, of, of the of judgment. In other words, what they, are, what they think in their own opinion is what they will be expecting as judgment. Meanwhile, what they are thinking is not even the right thing. And again, you see our people sometimes when you go to court, you see a lawyer who is not as, who, who's, whose English is uh, more beautiful than my own. You know me, I'm from, I'm from the village. And I, my, my intonation is not, I, I don't change it, I don't fake it. Mm. I speak the way I, I am. I'm from Indonesia, typical Indonesia, and that's where I speak. So, you see some people will be speaking a quick English. Two people will speak for one hour, two hours. Okay. Hour, two hours. Okay. Hour, three hours. Okay. The people will be afraid of applauding him. Somebody will speak for just one second. Or and that person will have made the point. But they will see that one. They will say, ah, that man said a lot of things. Because he doesn't look at him. Why he was All right. English. All right, Tunji. You know the overall Tunji, point. Tunji, Ayo. Tunji, and Ayo. Yeah. Well, I'm not the learned man, but I put it to you <laughs> <laughs> that we will understand at least 80% of no, it. No, no, because, no. for instance, um, the NSAS thing, the Oputa mm. panel thing, we may not have understood every we sentence see. and every word, yeah, exactly. but we understand what has happened. And if in the NSAS the white paper was different from what the, uh, the panel came up with, the, the people themselves are better for it. They understand mm. where the government mm. is lying or mm. telling the truth. Because no matter how it is, you can't speak a hundred words and not speak the one I will understand, at least infer the meaning from anything. We may not have the nitty-gritty, we may not have the details, like I just said. We could ask the learned people to 
further tell us. But it will form a, 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 a basis for discussion, a national discourse. This happened, that now, happened, now, that now, happened. Now, now, now. Created by us in the mind of the judges. I don't think judges should be Tunji, my, my problem is, my problem is, the only pressure. Tunji, my only problem is, the pressure you are seeing, the only pressure you are seeing is the pressure on the judges, maybe, to still do what they are doing, and you're not seeing pressure on them to even say the truth. Because sometimes they need these eyes. So we we'll even eyes. get to that river. We'll are, are, we'll are, are you aware? Are you aware? Are you aware that court is not about justice in court? It's not about the truth. It's about presentation of documents and facts and evidence. It's not about the truth. It's yeah. about who can prefer, who can lay but proper some, evidence before the court. But in some instances that I've given you, and you have a bad uh, presentation, you will lose. Tunji, I'm not the guest not here. Case, but in the, some of the instances that I've given you, was it about the law or the truth? No, get him Which right. One? No, get him right. The answers, the answers uh, is no, no, don't compare answers with courts. No, 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 they not the answers. Same. For instance, the Senate president going back to the uh, to the Senate was that law or truth? It was about law. So the law gave him the law. chance to go back. What the court, what court, what the court did the intervention of the court did. I, I, I don't have, I, 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 I'm not, I'm not agreement with the judgment of the courts. Then what they did is about law, as far as that concerned. It's not about the fact. No evidence was given in that court. But about looking at the documents. Interesting. So if you do be idea, you don't understand it. You just see them, see them talk about the uh, uh, jargons, uh, the legal, legal jargons, and then you will be thinking, wondering, what are they saying? What is all this about? You know. Okay. The issue is that I, 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 am, I am concerned about the, the what, outcome. what will be the consequence of that telepathizing it. Not about just watching for watching sake. Not for people just seeing for seeing sake. I'm looking at the the disadvantage aspect of it. We are by people who come out and start saying different things from what happened, and they are about taking an impression that this is what happened in court, and this so that so, therefore this person must win. Meanwhile, okay. they are saying different things, different from what happened in court. I do hope so. That I, if you want to watch proceeding, go to court and watch it, and then let 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 uh, people let people just be uh, at rest, and then they, they are I, not banned from entering court. Okay, okay. So, thank you, thank you. I do hope that Nigerians will um will be able to decipher just like every other country that mm. televises we shouldn't be the only ones that will go to court and come out with something that is not right i'm just hoping that so just to satisfy the curiosity of nigerians yes, like you said everybody here has accepted the fact that it will be good to build confidence in the judiciary even though like you said they may not be a favorable outcome as it were just by uh, watching the proceedings no no but, not favorable i say it may not the, favor, the outcome may not change may not change may not the mind change of those who are, who are the outcome to do, of the to yes the yes thank you thank you very much it's unfortunate that we'll have to wrap up now and uh, i'd just like to say thank you to you so, uh, Ayo, for coming <laughs> on the program and tunji uh, for coming on the program i knew it was going to uh, get to this point it two learned gentlemen <laughs> With just me, a layman. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so Thank you, much for coming. And we do hope that Nigeria uh, becomes better and better by every day. Thank you. Thank Ayo. you so much. Thank you. It's a pleasure you. to be here. Yeah. Thank you. So we'll take a short break now. When we return, we'll be looking at other matters. Stay with us.